Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Capricorn. So in this reading, we're going to be looking at the energies of how the person who is on your mind is feeling about you right now. What they're thinking about you, what they like best about you in the connection, what they don't like as much, hopes, fears, what's likely to happen, what they're likely to do next, and any advice Spirit has for you. So for the main cards of the reading, I will be using the traditional Rider Waite. If clarifiers are needed, the Fortune Telling Tarot Deck by Yoshitaka Amano. So let's get started, Capricorn. How is the person who is on Capricorn's mind? How are they, what are they thinking? How are they thinking about Capricorn right now? How are they feeling? How are they feeling? What do they like best? What do they like best about Capricorn and this connection with them? And what don't they like as much? What are their highest hopes? And what are their deepest fears? Now I'm gonna get three cards for what is likely to happen next, what this person is likely to do, and any advice Spirit has for you. I'm gonna lay them face down over here and we're gonna look at those together at the end. Okay, let's get started. What your person is thinking about you overall is the sun, which is a beautiful energy. It's very positive. It's very happy. It's warm. It is good news. It is a yes. Like if there's a question in your mind that you're hoping for a good answer, like a positive yes, the sun card is like yes energy. Leo energy could be significant, something really positive. As we get towards sun, um, summer, even Lionsgate could be really significant in a very positive way but someone is thinking about you and when they think about you they smile they feel good they feel happy and uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get a little more detail around that why do we have this beautiful sun card why do we have this beautiful sun card for how this person is thinking about Capricorn right now spirit why do we have this sun card Wow, Page of Pentacles. And I love the page, page of Pentacles in this deck. Feels like it's perfect for a love reading because Page of Pentacles are manifestations. It's a cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles. It is a new beginning. Sometimes it can be a tentative new beginning, but it's very positive. And for me, when it comes to a love reading, it's somebody taking that step to do something, to you know maybe see each other face to face, tell you how they feel, but something solid, something concrete, something that you can really anchor into and experience in a very real way in this life. And it's a now, it's a yes, it's a let's go for it kind of energy. It can be an offering, it can be somebody stepping up, but with the sun card and the page of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, somebody is feeling very excited about a new beginning with you, like a positive new beginning, maybe even a step that they're taking or planning on taking towards Towards this connection. What they're feeling about you is a knight of swords. Very interesting when um, swords come up in the feeling place because swords are all about thoughts, the mental energy, where our mind is headed, where it's going. And so with the feeling um, being clarified by the knight of swords, to me, it's like this person can't get to you fast enough. Like their mind races towards you all the time. They think of you. They're going about their day, doing their thing. Their mind keeps running back to you like all the time. And the slightest little thing can make them think of you when it comes to this card and this placement. Um, Libra, um, Gemini, Aquarius, especially strong Aquarius could be significant here, strong in your chart or your person's, but it really is like with this Knight of Swords in the feeling place, someone who is kind of anxious, like excited to see you, ready, you know, to do something, say something, and they don't really know what's going to happen or how it's all going to turn out, but they really do want to go for it. So Spirit, why do we have this Knight of Swords energy? Nine of Cups, yes. 
strong Pisces could be significant here, but this person wishing for you, thinking of you, feeling very excited about you, very happy. And it can be an energy with the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Cups with what they're feeling, thinking about all kinds of things that they're wishing and hoping to experience with you. A lot of wish energy, which makes me think that this is somebody who is, um, could be, um, could be thinking about you quite a lot, could be even missing you if the two of you are like far from one another or something like that because there's a lot of like this wish, hope, tentative new beginning kind of energy. But it could be someone if you have recently met or recently connected or reconnected with someone that is hoping for a lot more. What they like best about you, very interesting, is the devil energy. Capricorn energy here because this is the major arcana for Capricorn. It also is an energy of um, when it comes to a love reading and it shows up in a really positive placement of what they like best about you there could be a very strong like physical chemistry like a lot of attraction a lot of heat um, and it can be the energy of somebody who likes to think about you a lot it can even be like fantasizing with all these wish cards um, could be somebody thinking about you being with you let's go ahead and see what we can get because the devil card yeah it can be you you know, obviously it's a challenging energy. It can be when you're looking at something, you know, toxic or fears or doubts, but it's what they like best about you and it's your major arcana. So for me, it's showing up in like a positive placement like this is that this person is feeling very strong about their connection, very sure, very definite, very determined. It's like they can't stop thinking about you. And um, there, there's no denying that you are the person on this on this person's mind so spirit why do we have why do we have this devil energy and what they like best wow we have the three of wands clarifying and then here we have the empress on the bottom of the deck taurus libra and aries energy can all be very significant here connected to the strong capricorn energy and this energy of this person thinking about you quite a lot it almost feels like they're kind of fixated here on you hoping for more because that three of wands energy for me very often it's someone feeling like their ships have come in something they've been hoping for something they've been longing for something they're very excited about um, showing up and with this empress energy it is a very beautiful very positive energy of somebody um, feeling like this could be it but there's also a little bit of like fear and doubt you know and nerves tied in there because we do have that devil energy can be sometimes about our fears and our doubts and so it's almost like somebody feeling like their ships have come in feeling like this could be it you could be the one but it's almost like they're nervous like is this really it can I can I really trust this? Is this is this true? Am I making it up? And I'm am I imagining it? Almost like there's a little bit of that energy, you know, connected to fears, like almost like is this too good to be true kind of energy. So what they don't like about as much about the connection is the star card, which is interesting because this is such a positive energy and it's here in a challenging placement. Um, strong Aquarius energy could be significant. This is the energy of somebody who is recovering from something. They've been through something challenging, something difficult because the star comes right after the tower. That tower energy is past, but I do feel like this is somebody who's been through their share of challenges is, you know, um, maybe breakups in the past. And so now they're in this energy of this like tentative new beginning, finding out who they are, healing from the past, exploring, you know, what it means to be authentic and I feel like it's hard for them when I see like the star energy, which is somebody really opening up, being expressive, being who they truly are here in this place is what they don't like as much about like you and the connection with you. It feels to me like there's nerves around being vulnerable. There's nerves around opening up. There's nerves around, you know, expressing their true self because there's something that's still being healed here. There's something that they're still recovering from in a sense. So opening up and expressing things is still like a new kind of energy. Wow. Queen, clarified by the Queen of Wands, Two of Pentacles, and Seven of Cups. 
um, Aries energy, Capricorn energy, so you're right there, and then Scorpio energy. Definitely feels like a lot of fantasizing. Like if the two of you are, you know, um, in like different areas, you know, or if you haven't like fully made this a thing, like if you're talking about it, moving towards, you know, getting really, getting really clear about the direction of this connection, but you haven't necessarily been, um, um, decided like this is it, like, like made it official. If you haven't made it official, that's the words I'm looking for. And there's all this kind of like nervous energy, but it's also positive, excited energy. This person could be kind of wishing, hoping, fantasizing, and definitely making some decisions. And there is a very strong attraction. With that Queen of Wands, there's a very strong attraction here and a lot of physical attraction. But there is like this, a little bit of like indecisive energy and even a little bit of fantasizing and feeling unsure. And it's clarified that star energy so they could be a little nervous that they're not sure maybe how you feel or if you're ready fully to take this to the next level so there's like they're thinking this is what I want this is what I hope for but is it real is it going to happen like there's there, it's almost like they're questioning themselves a little bit there but their highest hopes are the eight of pentacles Virgo energy could be significant here and this is somebody who is willing to do what it takes to make this happen willing to put in the time Time, willing to put in the energy have the talks that you need to have you know make the you know make the trips or set up the you know set up the meetings go on the you know go out get together and do what it takes to see where this can go somebody who's going to pick up the phone and call you and tell you how they feel so I do feel like someone is sort of getting over this sort of nervous kind of tentative energy and really does want to see where this can go their deepest fears are the eight of swords Words. Gemini energy could be significant here, but this is the energy of feeling stuck in your mind, not knowing what to say, not knowing how to say it, not knowing what to move forward, um, what to say and how to move forward, feeling like you can't do something or you can't have something. And it's interesting because it's sitting here at the bottom next to this kind of devil energy. So there's some sort of fears or doubts that this person might be having about themselves, but it's connected to this three of wands, this empress and this eight of pentacles. It's like, but there's there's something real here. They're feeling like there is something real, something solid, something sacred even is the word I just got. Something sacred. And they do want to see. They do want to put in the energy. So I'm very curious here about what's going to happen, what they're likely to do, and advice for you. So what is likely to happen? Oh my gosh, here's the Empress energy. Wow. Okay, whatever the doubts and the fears have been around the truth of this connection and the fact that, you know, whether or not this person is really sure that this can work, I see them overcoming that. And I feel like this person is actually taking steps to kind of break through their fears and doubts to work towards really saying, hey, it's time. You're the one. Let's do this. Let's make this happen because the Empress energy is all about the energy energy of the one. Once again, Taurus and Libra could be significant here, but it's planet Venus. It's expansion. It's this beautiful feminine energy, which is all about the energy of bringing something into being, something into reality, something that had maybe just been a hope or a thought, really, you know, birthing it into this, this physical plane. So making it happen, taking the steps to make it real, to come together. It's, you know, it's beauty. It's wonder. It's abundance. And it's an exciting, positive new beginning that is ready to go someplace, something to really build on here. So what are they likely to do? Wow, Hierophant. A lot of Taurus energy. If you're dealing with a Taurus, you might want to check out that reading. I uh, Consciously, I don't even remember what came through in it. But when I see all this Taurus showing up, I do feel like I need to say that because they're two major arcana. Obviously, that's not the case for everyone because we're also looking at Taurus season, which right now we're like just winding down. We just had that... Um, Taurus new moon energy. So a lot of things that are unfolding right in this time. Um, a lot of things that maybe you've been talking about or you've been talking about with this person, plans that you're making, feelings you're having, thoughts that you're thinking are all 
going to be unfolding now because of things that have happened during this season that we're in right now. With what they're likely to do being the Hierophant energy, this could be somebody wanting to take steps towards a real true commitment. The Hierophant when it comes in for me in a love reading, especially in a, like a positive placement like this, is somebody wanting to do something to make this official. And it's interesting because I saw this like kind of nervous energy. Like if you haven't, you know, really made this official and if you haven't said this is what it is, this is what we're doing, you know, or stated it to the world like you are my person and I want to be with you. Like that there's been a lot of fantasizing around that, a lot of hope around that and even a little bit of fear like is it possible? Can this be? But I do feel like it is someone who is definitely going to be making some sort of offer, some something very stable, something very clear and something very real because they feel like you are the one, the one and the only one. I love this energy for you, Capricorn. So what is your advice? Hanged Man energy. Very interesting. Now, this card comes up a lot and it gets kind of a mixed, like a mixed explanation on YouTube. I've seen it a lot and readings that I've watched where people say, this is waiting, this is stuck, this is something that's going to take time. It's not true. This is something that the universe put, you know, on pause, on hold for, you know, so that somebody can get clear, so somebody can get the right idea, so somebody can get the correct perspective. And the moment you get that true perspective, you get that message that you, the universe has been wanting to show you, trying to, you know, make clear to you, the moment you get that message and you have that clarity, you have that breakthrough, everything begins to move forward. It's um, Pisces energy. So it's about going in deep. It's about taking time to align with divine. And the moment you're aligned with divine energy, it all begins to move forward. It isn't about waiting. It's about getting aligned with divine to have the experience you're truly meant to have in the here and now. There's no such thing as something being out in the distant, you know, out in the future. This divine timing that is like out of your hands because we we are divine. We are divine beings. We are connected to divine. And all you have to do to anchor something into the here and now is to divine with that, um, align with that divine energy and say, I am ready. You make that announcement to the universe. You have that aha moment and you say, I am ready for everything that I know is meant to be mine. It can line up in this very second right now. And, um, and so spirit isn't saying for you to wait. Spirit is saying for you to align with divine. Ask for that message. Ask for that awareness. Ask for that true understanding of what the universe is wanting to show you. And then watch it unfold. Watch it happen right before your very eyes. So why do we have, wow, this hanged man energy. Oh my goodness. Um, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. It's because of the King of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Something you have been hoping for. Something that you have been feeling like you're right on the verge of. Now it's happening. Now it's unfolding. Now you're having that clarity. And we have the King of Pentacles, which is a beautiful match for Capricorn energy. It is also energy that um, that you are anchoring in, recognizing who you are, very conscious, realizing that, um, that you know who you are, you know what it is you want. It's self-nurturing that leads to this true, new, beautiful beginning and change. A Virgo energy could be significant. We have Wheel of Fortune, which for me, I get a lot of Sagittarius energy here, but it really is the planet Jupiter. It's expansion. It's things that you've only hoped for being truly anchored into this physical experience. Spirit is saying, having that realization, 
who and what it is you feel like you want, you're worthy of, you know is meant to be yours, telling the universe, this is what it must be for me. And, you know, choosing not to settle and letting the universe know, I want somebody who's going to come in, somebody who's going to come all in, somebody who's going to treat me with the worth and value that I truly deserve. And all of a sudden, the wheel spins, everything shifts, everything changes, and things that had only been a hope or a wish are suddenly appearing in your now experience. That's what the Wheel of Fortune is all about. It's something happening now, something that you have anchored in all this time with your thoughts, your hopes, your um, inner work on yourself and your, your desires and your realizations of your own value and what you're worthy of now, what you are truly worthy of now coming into your now experience because of the realizations that you have had. And it's all connected to yourself, aligning um, with your divine, with your energy of what you know is meant to be yours and then watching it unfold. Something you've been hoping for maybe even in the past waiting for but now you're having that realization that the time is now it is unfolding someone is recognizing you as the person that is the one that they want to be with and they are taking some steps to um, move towards a real true commitment and this is somebody that you want. This is somebody you're interested in. This is somebody you like. This is somebody who makes you feel like the empress that you are. So that is the message that I have for you. I do hope that it resonates. These are, are of course, um, collective messages. So take what's yours, leave what's not. Definitely check your other placements. Um, if you feel like there's something that didn't quite feel like yours, there is so many different things that will show up in different places in our chart and highlight, you know, sometimes your Mars will be highlighted, sometimes your Venus, sometimes your Sun, sometimes your Moon, you know, sometimes you're rising. And so, so it's really good to listen as you're guided and, um, and look at those, you know, any message that you feel truly guided to. So... This is a message that I have for you, and I do hope that you all find it helpful. If you like it, if you like it, please put a like on it. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love if you would. And if something spoke to you and you'd like to reach out for a personal reading, my website is charitygenice.com. I have a ton of different options on there. And also, if you're just interested in getting to know um, a little more, more about me and what I do, I share poetry and art as well on my website. I've had that website for years, long before I ever had a YouTube channel, because ultimately I'm actually an author and an artist and a psychic reader, and it's all deeply connected. Like all of my spiritual work is deeply connected with my, art my artistic work. So I do share a lot of that. And um, so if you're interested, feel free to check it out. I love getting to know you all better. I love hearing from you, and I want to thank all of you for watching this message, liking, subscribing, commenting, donating, ordering personal readings, and just letting me know when things resonate. I love it. So thank you all so much. I'll talk to you soon.